We've been working on this for over 20 years. You see, the challenge working with a flat outer darkening welding filter is that you can only make them so wide until the helmet itself becomes too wide to use. You can, of course, make them taller, but that's not what welders told us they want. They want something with a more horizontal view instead. That's why making a curved outer darkening welding filter has been our goal for 20 years. Because if you completely want to optimize welder's field of view while keeping the helmet slim, you have to design a curved outer darkening welding filter. We started working on curved outer darkening welding filters right after I was hired. It was first part time, but then as technologies improved, we spent more and more time on it. We first investigated plastics, since they are low weight and can obviously curve, but plastics have poor heat resistance and they are not good barriers for water vapor and oxygen. This means uh, welling filters would immediately start degrading their performance. We turned every stone in our search for good solutions. We even tried plastic glass combinations, but nothing seemed to be promising enough. But then it happened. We discovered glass material of exceptionally high quality and just as importantly, highly precise technology to process that ultra thin glass. We started to realize that this can be the big hit because ultra thin glass enables lower weights for the welders and thin glass can be curved to a radius small enough to fit inside a welding helmet. Welders told us that they prefer to have the welding helmet very small but with a big clear field of view together with a low weight and that is exactly what we are giving them with the G502 welding helmet. Another important thing is robustness and the question might be how can such a thin glass be robust enough for welding? Actually, the glass itself is quite flexible. Then we laminate these sheets of glass in between multiple layers of polarizers and adhesives. The glass laminate is more robust in some directions compared to a flat, traditional glass laminate due to higher flexibility. But obviously, we don't just develop glass laminates, we make complete welding helmets. The welding helmet itself is quite flexible and therefore absorbs the greatest amount of a possible impact. The glass laminate is further protected by a rigid frame and soft padding material. The welding helmet design helps avoid getting scratches on the outer protection plate. Like our flat outer darkening filters, G502 goes through the same safety and impact tests according to international standards. After we had several working hand-built prototypes, we needed to figure out how to manufacture it. Curved LCDs for TVs and other uses have been around for years, but nobody has ever succeeded to manufacture such a tightly curved auto darkening welding filter. We had no real reference point. Nothing. Luckily we are pretty stubborn, or we might have just stopped there. We basically had to figure out how to manufacture a curved welding filter and then find or invent machinery needed and redesign our facilities in Sweden to fit this machinery. And now we have the world's first curved outer darkening welding filter, the 3M Speedgloss G502, with a 100% wider field of view compared to our previous widest filter. The G502 helmet literally sets a new world standard for precision outer darkening welding filter viewing. I was here early on when we first introduced the outer darkening welding helmet. It changed everything. In my opinion, this helmet will change everything again.